I'm here today to show you how I connected my CT10, Garmin CT10 sensors into the end of the grips, hopefully keeping them on without them vibrating off when you hit the shots. What I have is I ordered a one inch heat shrink tubing. I use some kind of a level just as a straight edge because I'm going to cut them. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to show you how that I put these on, the process that I put these on that hopefully will help everybody keep those uh, sensors on their clubs. The first thing I did is I want to cut about a one and a half inch piece of tubing. I'm using a level that's approximately one and a half inches wide. It helps me cut a straight line. Once I have the piece cut, you'll just have a small piece tubing. The grip is probably a slightly larger than the one inch, but with new grips, which I just had put on these, it slips on relatively easy. You've got to just kind of work your way around the grip, stretch that tubing out a little bit. Once you get it on a little bit, then you just keep working it on onto the club until you have a little less than half an inch out the end of the club where the CT10 will go into that small hole that's the end of your grip. Just keep working your way around the club. Eventually you get to a point, you can put it on a little farther if you like, it really doesn't matter how far you put it on, just how much you want to have to work it back later. So I keep going around until I have a small, a small section. Still a little less than a, a little about a fingernail's width for me that's still in there. Then I take the CT10 that goes associated with that club and start to put it into the hole that's already provided in the end of the grip like you normally would. Once you do that, put it all the way in, make sure it's tight. Make sure you get a good tight fit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to level it out just so a little bit of the white is showing all the way around. Because you want to make sure if you ever want to change the battery or you're going to need to change the battery, you still want to be able to get the black cap off the top. So I move it around a little bit until I got it approximately in the position that I want it in. Now personally, I don't have a heat gun. So what I'm using is a hair dryer that has a high, high heat function to it. My wife's hair dryer was perfectly able to use that. Once you do that, I'm just gonna take the gun, put it up again. Roll the plug, roll the elbow, get it on easily. Once you roll the club a few times back and forth with the blow dryer, you can kind of tell if you, if you push in on the sensor, you can tell now that that heat shrink tubing is now sort of glued itself to the sensor and to the end of the club grip. So in the end, I'm hoping this solves my problem with many others' problems, these CT10s vibrating out. I've used super glue before, I've tried tape, Nothing seems to work, and I just did a little bit of research and thought maybe this would be a good solution. So, hope this helps a few people uh, give this a try. It doesn't seem to tear up the, the grip. You can always cut it off, you know, to get it uh, get the CT10 or the grip off if you need to change it. So, hope this helps you out.